Okay, welcome to the United Man. My name is Shane Leonce. Just wanted to catch up on some of the transfer speculation uh, going around in the newspapers today and circulating on t television, normally Sky Sports News. Just wanted to get some of my views across on some of the transfers that have been uh, named and also could do with seeing some of your comments coming through about them as well. And if you've heard of any other transfers from any other teams, that sort of things, your opinions, drop some names, that sort of thing. So let's get into it. Just wanted to start off by saying, well, just going through the statement that Ed Woodward released earlier today on Sky, Sky Sports News. He was basically saying that he is looking to use some of Manchester United's financial muscle to back Solskjaer in a transfer window this summer. So that sounds really good. What I'm hoping he doesn't try to do is just go out and buy a marquee name for the sake of it, which seems to be what he'd like to do where he feels that would make the fans happier. I mean, myself personally, I'd prefer to get players within the working system that Solskjaer wants to use. So just to go through some of those names that have been listed today, Lewandowski from Bayern Munich, he was listed, uh, well, he's been put down as a potential transfer for Man United. But the figures that were being banded around was 50 million. 50 million. He's 30 years of age. I mean, he's got 22 goals in 44 games uh, this this past season, which is obviously a goal every other game ratio. But it kind of smacks as a kind of Robin Van Persie potential deals that, that we could get done. If we could get him for, say, 20, 25 mil, then all day long, let's get him in. Hopefully get a good couple of seasons out of him and move on, I suppose. But if we're talking about 50 to 50 plus mil, nah, it's just not worth it. Also mentioned was Aaron Wambisaka and also Patrick Van Aanhout from West Ham. Sorry, Crystal Palace. You probably know from my previous video that I'm a big Wambisaka fan. I think he could be main at his right back going forward for the, who knows, next decade. Patrick Van Aanhout, not too sure. Well, again, that's the first I've heard, but... From what I've read today, it's yeah, it's a possibility as a duo uh, deal bringing bring them both across Man United. I could only possibly see him being a squad player, potential backup for Luke Shaw. Say so, if that was the case, then brilliant. Or if he comes and starts pushing and playing well, and when he does get his opportunity, I suppose it's only going to push Luke Shaw and even more. But in terms of Wamba Saka, that seems to be picking up pace a little bit. Moving on to the next um, potential target, that would be Douglas Costa from Juventus. Now, there had been speculation, only minute speculation over the past couple of years in relation to him. But Douglas Costa, I think if he was to come in, he'd be situated on the right hand side. Coming in on his left foot, guy's got skill for days, pace for days, and he likes that long range banger of a shot as well. If we get him in, that'd be brilliant. But having said that, for some reason, Juventus are looking... Well, they I think they're act actively shopping him. So you've got to ask the question, OK, why are they looking at shopping him out if he's such a quality player? In any case, they it may just be a case of their loss are gain if there was something to be done. Moving on, Philip Coutinho from Barcelona. There's been whispers that he hasn't lived up to the massive amount of money that they paid for, for him. Having said that, he has kind of played out of position wide left the majority of the season, which possibly doesn't suit, well, suit his game best. I think he's more effective in sort of the hole in between the two strikers, so to speak. That's possibly his best role available to him, where he can come inside, create, let off some shots, run at the defence, that sort of thing. But I know he can operate off that left side, but me personally, if I'd like to see him in a more central role uh, where I feel it would be more effective there. <laughs> An old uh, flame, it would seem, that seems to come up every single transfer window, Gareth Bale. Now, a few years ago, I would have bitten your hand off to say, yeah, yeah, let's have Gareth Bale. Loved it. You sh I mean, that overhead kick in the Champions League final for, for Real Madrid. Where, where they where they last won it. I mean that that was you know that that was amazing. 
But having said that, those moments are few and far between. So, having said that, his injury record is isn't great at all. So, I think it's six years, five, six years, but he's been at Real Madrid now. And he's spent a lot of time on the injury table. So, that wouldn't bode well. As I said, he's 29, going into 30. They'd want, a, they'd want to recoup a big amount of their cost that they paid for him, I'd expect. His wage is huge. With Sanchez still on the books, I know we're trying to actively shop him out, but he's still on the books at the moment. Wouldn't want to take another risk with just someone coming to the club for the paper, for the money, basically. So that, for me, is a no. Koulibaly, feelings on him is, if we can get him, bring him in. He's, for me, he'd, he'd solidify that defence, possibly playing alongside Lindelof. Tell me what you think about that one. If he, if your views on Kulabali are any of any, if you think he's any good, if you don't, if you think there's other alternatives, put it down in the comments. Also, <laughs> this one was a bit concerned about from when I seen. I hadn't seen, heard much about it, but I read earlier today. Angel Gomez, Barcelona looking on knocking at main at the door for Angel Gomez. Listen, <laughs> if Ed Woodward sold. Angel Gomez to Barcelona, he's getting one of those because that's one of our bright young talents alone, along with Tahir Chong, Mason agree with them kind of guys, need to keep hold of them, them youngsters in this squad. So that's a big no-no for me. One other point I wanted to touch on is we're in the Europa League. So one of opinions on what type of players you actually think we could attract. I mean, the longer we go away from winning leagues, titles and cups and European success, it was a question that was uh, put on my last uh, last video. It was one of the comments is, how long do you think May and I will maintain this desirability? Uh, whilst we're not winning stuff, I mean, it can go only go on as long as memory serves, I suppose. We, whereas this generation is, we've, Growing up with may not have been the most successful team, but as the question was put, younger generation now, uh, some of the kids in school, they're going to see City, Liverpool as you know more successful team. So yeah, we need to start making movements. We need to start getting them players, and they're going to be effective for us. I'd like to see that J Daniel James transfer happen. I think he's got something special, so I'd like to see, see some movement on that. But yeah, uh, just a quick one. Let me know your thoughts on the transfer whispers at the moment. Just uh, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, share the video and like. Appreciate it a lot, guys. Take care.